um, update on Gurney Street. So Boston Police still here after conducting the investigation. Called for a second ambulance. Not too sure what they got going on. So let's see what they have. Gurney back to B2 291.95.4, uh, one of them. Nova 614. Yeah, on Ruggles, that's Can't walk through there, my man. Crossing headquarters. We have a homeless male about 50 years old, feeling suicidal. Northeast and north of now, do we have any of those coming? <laughs> he just walked right through there. Okay. Uh, I know he's seen that yellow tape there. He, he had to see that tape. He ducked, there, he ducked right underneath it. Sir, transporting a witness from one gurney back to B2, start mileage 8844.4. Four minutes. So the detectives are going to be taking pictures and stuff. 614, they haven't dispatched anyone yet. Uh. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Frank Adam Robert at point seven. Five minutes. <laughs> Tell me you I don't know, maybe people don't know what that yellow tape means. I don't know. I see a lot of people walk underneath it as if it doesn't even exist. He's going to try to go through the back door there, but the back door is blocked off too. Everybody's down here on Granny Street, John. Four, five, seven. Five, seven. We got one guy in handcuffs, it looks like. Nova 614, is that ambulance on road? 
So he's he's probably the uh, suspect, but he's suffered some um, stab wounds himself. So. Boston Beast made one arrest. A lot going on. They're trying to still gather all the evidence and iron it out, out figure out what really to happened. Got a complication. So right now, this is pretty much the hot spot for the next hour or so, anyway. Right over here in Gurney Street. Charlie 425 Alpha Oceanora. I'll take it. Um, so you can't really tell what transpired. We do know that one individual was um, suffering from st stab wounds to the arm. <clears throat> two, People coming home and they can't get into the house because of the... Uh, Again. See people looking out the window, trying to figure what's going on. Um, just gonna start taking photos. So they're gonna document anything they can document and go from there. Um, Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, what's happening? Work, keep, 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 keep me busy, yeah? Yeah. 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 The full moon, right? I don't even see the full moon. Yeah, exactly. It's somewhere over there. <laughs> Something's going on. Could be the drinking water. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Something, something. Holiday, holiday spirit. That's what it is. Got to stay away from people. People are contagious. 
Anyway, this is so. It's, let's say the holiday season. The best thing to do is stay by yourself. <laughs> you can't get too much trouble if you're by yourself, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So a lot of these clubs and um, pubs are having license. I don't know what's going on with them. They had a couple of overdoses in the D side over there, on Guest Street, 49 Guest Street. Um, not too sure what's going on. Allegedly, somebody put something in someone's drink, and two or three people overdosed. Street at Harvard Ave. So, uh, you guys, if you go out clubbing or partying, always watch your drink. Don't leave your drink with nobody. If you have to leave it, throw it away. Um, like I said, holiday season, everybody's uptight. We're not too sure why, but it, it just happens. A lot of domestics. A lot of restraining orders have been issued out in the last couple of weeks, too, if you guys realize it. Boston policemen are very busy uh, distributing restraining orders. Some emergency ones, some through the court. And they dished out a whole lot of them in the last couple of weeks. So right now, they're conducting an investigation. There's not much else you can see other than you know, they get taped lying up from the sidewalk all the way down to that rear door over there. The rear door is, there are droplets of blood coming down the stairwell there. And other than that, that's what we got going on. And this comes up, we'll get back to you. Take a quick walk around the side so you can see what's going on the side over there. Let's see what we get over here right quick and we head up out of here. Yeah. I don't know if you see any droplets over here or not. You may see some. You, know, you can see it right here. This is probably where he rested. Some droplets right there. Right there. 955 Boylston, another caller saying the female took a fall down a flight of stairs. This probably be the spot where the ambulance picked him up from right there. That's where the most blood is, is like right, right there. 421 out of Robert. So it is. There's quite a bit of blood here too, so he, well he's probably just bleeding pretty good. <laughs> That's true. It does drop quick too. It's like 37 degrees right now. Right, that pretty much wraps up the investigation for outside uh, mostly it's all on the inside
910 Sash Fire is uh, confirming the update of 62 year old female head injury after falling downstairs, putting on a cervical call. Yep, uh, Madam Hobbit. Alright guys, so anything else comes up, I get back here, but that's pretty much what we have going on. They have made an arrest in connection with the stabbing, or he may possibly be under arrest. We're not too quite sure if he's under arrest or not, but he may end up being under arrest. After he gets treated at the hospital, we'll see what happens.